Hello Zebrahood and welcome to Scribble Knots Showdown, a brand new Scribble Knots game. Who would have thought? It looks like a lot of fun, a little bit different than I was expecting. This is sort of a party game. There are some classic Scribble Knots elements in it, and we'll definitely be playing at least a couple episodes for you guys. But before we get started, I do want to give a huge thank you to Warner Brothers for sending me a copy of the game so that I could play it for you guys. And yeah, there are a couple different modes, because if you don't know, this is sort of kind of a party game. Of course, it has a typical Scribblenauts elements, but it has like different versus mini games, and you have like a little showdown board. As, as far as I know, it's sort of kind of like Mario Party. But to unlock everything that you would want in the game, there's a sandbox mode, which you can play. Basically, the sandbox mode is like in an original Scribblenauts game where you go through a level, you solve people's problems by spawning things in. So I figured we'll play through one of the first levels of sandbox mode here in uh, Scribblenauts Showdown, and if we enjoy that, then hopefully we'll do more episodes soon. But that is what I'll mostly focus on, because I plan on just playing the game for myself. As you can see, there are tons of different characters to choose from. You can even make your own character, but to unlock them, mostly you need to go be th go be going through the uh, uh, sandbox mode. So that's what we'll be doing. We're gonna start with Maxwell, and there is a sandbox store. Use your star right to unlock objects unique to each sandbox level. Once unlocked, you can use them in sandbox levels or wordy games. So yeah, this is how you use them in games. As you can see, everything has sort of a certain cost to it, which is pretty cool. And then we have the first level, which is the Mayan ruins. And as you can see, there's like a ton of them. So I'm actually excited to try this out. We'll try to do like an episode per sandbox level. The Mayan ruin, survival is the name of the game in the Mayan jungle. Look out for beasts, creatures, and others who may wish you harm. Arm. This seems really cool. So there's 10 star rides, two rewards, and eight unlocked objects. So hopefully we can do all of this, and as always, let me know if you'd like to see more of this game. Uh, get creative in the sandbox mode, where the, limit, the only limit is your imagination. That seems to be the case. Move the left stick and right to move. Press that button to jump. Yeah, I only have to use like the tiny little Joy-Con half. Press that to enter doors. Yeah, there's like an interact button. I did try this a little bit to get used to the controls, so I do know most of this, but I figured I'd go over it with you guys. Um, the actual typing mechanic is actually better than I thought it would be. It's really weird. I'll show that off in a moment. But as you can see, it seems to be pretty basic compared to most Scribblenaut things. It's really similar. Just run through the level, solve people's problems, spawn things in, make whatever you can think of. Okay, that seems to be good enough. Survival is the name of the game in the Mayan jungle. Yep, I think we already read that. Look out for beast creatures and others who may wish you harm. Find hidden star rights by interacting with objects and characters in this level. Need help? You can view the star right log from the pause menu at any time. It looks like we can take it up now. Okay, so it seems like there's a couple things going on here. Uh, chimp to chump, bring the chimp chimpanzee back down to earth. Is he on the moon? Anaconda attack, the largest snake in the world is a dangerous foe. All right, so we'll try to get all of these. Hopefully it won't take me too long. I gotta get used to the controls a little bit because it was a day or two since I've last played. Oh my gosh, it actually looks really cool though. I'm playing this on the Switch, but it's available on like ton of other consoles. As you can see, like I can interact with things. There's the bug over, okay, I get it. Ah, is he attacking me? Which one are you? Uh, I gotta, where's the pause button? That's the pause button. Tooth Fairy, Skeleton Crew. Hmm, is there anything about a bug? Mosquito bites. Anyone feeling itchy? Huh. What do I need for, oh, I can pick you up, and I can just pet you. Is that what I was supposed to do? I don't think so. Uh, I can remove you, but this is where uh, we will create an object, and it sort of looks like a telephone dial, but it actually controls pretty well. So I was surprised with how well this works, but um, what should we get? I guess a, uh, a fly swatter, so let's try that, because I think we're just supposed to swat him away. And there it is. Then I will equip that. Oh, I got an award. Oh, I got him! You earned an award! Each award unlocks a new scribble knot that you and your friends can use while playing Scribble Knot Showdown. Cool. Did that do it? Uh let's see. Star it log. No, that did not do it. Huh, I don't know how to do that one. Well we'll figure it out as we go along. What about you? Oh, I think. You want something, which one are you then? Star at Og, creepy color frog, and the shaman of the fire. Help the shaman complete his fire ritual. Oh, is he saying what we need then? Because I went the other way when I tried the game out. So he wants a bug, some jewels, and a mushroom. Okay, well the mushroom was green, everything else was not green. So we'll do the mushroom first. Add, or let's uh, remove that, and then we're going to create an object. Uh. Mushroom. And of course, I've played some other Scribblenauts games in the past. I would love to play more for you guys, though. So you guys can always let me know what some of your uh, 
favorite Scribblenauts games are, and maybe I'll play some of those too. There you go, there's a mushroom shard. Um, okay, now he's just, he's not asking for the mushroom anymore, he's asking for the jewels and the bug. Oh, I didn't want that. Uh, I do not want to give that leopard a swat with a fly swatter, I feel like that'd be my last uh, thing I ever do. I don't know if there's a leopard or a cheetah, we'll find out in a moment. Create an object, so now he wants a bug. So let's just do uh, B, U, G, bug. Here you go. Hey, he's happy about it. Um, or is he not? Was not good. Not, not was that not good enough for you? Let's try it again. Oh, now it's now it's attacking him. Now he's hungry. Let's try a fly then, because it sort of kind of looks more like a fly than anything. Fly. Here you go. Better? No, now he's just mad. Well, oh, now he's only just asking for the jewels. Okay, so that was it. Create an object. Let's try gem. Uh, gem. Here you go. Yeah, that worked. Award earned star collector one. Shaman, oh my gosh, what is this thing? <laughs> is he the little fire demon that came out of that? There are star rights that can be earned in every sandbox level. Look for the star right icon to see who needs your help. To view your progress or get hints, access to star right live from the pause menu. Okay, and this cheetah, is he in pain? Oh, he's a, does he have the toothache? I think so, uh, cause we read that, right? Tooth fairy, this poor feline has a sore tooth. Well, buddy, I know what to do. Let us create a toothbrush. So T O O T toothbrush. There you go. Wait, there you go. Yeah, I don't know how he's gonna use it, but he seems to be happy about it, so cool. Let's go down here. Ooh, you are a spider. What, what, what thing do we need for a spider? Anaconda attack. The largest one, the anaconda is a snake, it's not a spider. Hmm. Creepy crawler, even creepy bugs need attention too. Do I just pick you up? Pick up. Uh, and then I'll pet you. Oh, hey, that worked! <laughs> and we all have the new scribble knot for that. So I'm gonna, oh, I can give you the spider. Here you go, uh, that's yours. <laughs> I don't think he, oh, he wants to fight. I do remember some of these like little icons over their heads from other scribble knots games. My favorite scribble knot game is Unlimited. Scribble knots Unlimited, that's a lot of fun. Skeleton crew, clear the catacombs of them bones. Ooh, we get to fight, huh? Well then let me get like a sword or something. Um, oh, well, let's mix that up a little bit, because we could always do a sword. Let's do something a little bit different. We will do a, what's the letter V, right here? A javelin, here it is. Javelin, mine, oh boy, watch out, sir. Oh, oh, we gotta keep throwing it over and over again. I guess javelins are throwing weapons, was that it? Uh, oh, there's more, there's more, getcha. Getcha. Ooh, this is very powerful, I like it. Is there no, there's another one over, hey, you hurt my spider friend, you monster! Oh, his sword even has a health. That's pretty, oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Skeleton crew, you did something. So we got plus 10 star rights for that, which is pretty cool. So we're not just getting one star right per thing. So what is going on down here? Um, you're upset, you want a sword. Here you go. Yeah, okay, oh gosh, he's fighting a tentacle lady. Uh, what is that? Angry Cicalia? What is a Cicalia? I have no clue, oh gosh. Attacking the mosquitoes. And there's snakes down here too. Oh, there's a frog. Oh no, the snakes are attacking me. Wait, <laughs> hold on, the snakes are evil. Help me. Oh gosh, they're following me everywhere. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on right now. Let me first. Anaconda attack, the largest snake in the world is a dangerous foe. So I'm probably gonna wanna use a ranged weapon against this guy, cause he's a dangerous foe. Create an object. Also, we could do a couple of other things. I can add an objective to, add, not objective, but adjective to myself. So I can make myself flying. So I can say, I am the flying Maxwell, and now I can just fly around. And that's really cool about scribble knots is that not only can you create objects, but you can give other enemies and people, different adjectives as well. So I can go ahead and go to the anaconda. I can make him, uh, let's say, tiny. That way, hopefully, he's not as big of a threat. Oh, no, did I do it? Did he fall? Where'd he go? Did he get beat up by the, oh no, he got beat up by the other snakes! Wow, I wasn't expecting that to happen at all. Wow, that was really interesting. Um, Bring the chimpanzee back down to Earth. Hidden treasures, oh, that's a treasure chest over there. Frog and toad, the Goliath frog seems rather lonely. Oh, does he want a toad? 
Aw, we'll get you a friend. Create an object. T O A. Oh wait, there it was. I wonder if this will be the Mario Toad. We're playing on the Nintendo Switch, aren't we? <laughs> did that not work? Hey, it did work, yay! And then can we just open this? Uh, empty. Wait, I pressed the wrong button. Hey, we got a javelin again. Uh, it's a spear, actually. Uh, let's pick that up, just in case I need it. We'll go back through the store. You need something. Hmm, oh yeah, that's right, I still fly. So what's the, oh, is this the monkey that, well, what are the ones that we have to do? We have to get the mosquito bites. And then finally, we have to do the chimp to jump. Oh wow, we're doing these really quick. Bring the chimpanzee back down to Earth. So he's not on the moon. I guess back down to Earth in like the way that he has a crown. Like all these other monkeys do not like him. So could I go up here and steal? Hold on, oh wait, I, I, I don't think I was close enough. Let's try that again. So I can steal his crown, ready? Oh, it didn't work. Oh, there you go. Oh no, I feel sort of bad, but at the same time, everybody else is happy about it. So you're another mosquito here. I'm gonna hit you with my, oh, I stole his like little scepter. Oh, is that all then? Mosquito bites, you found the hidden star rights. I guess there were more than one mosquito to take out. Hmm. So now what? It looks like I've gotten everything. There's no like hidden things, I don't think. We got a hunter star rights for all that, which is pretty cool. Okay, well then I guess we could quit, because we've done everything in this level. Looks like, ooh, there, we are missing a reward, or an award. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Survival is the name of the game. Hmm, let's go to the store. And we got a couple different things. Of course, if I were to do all the sandbox levels, my goal would be to purchase all of this, so I might as well do it in order. Uh, if the buttons will work, that was a little weird. Uh, so we got a Quetzal, which seems to be a type of bird. Would you like to spin star so I'll unlock this item? Of course. And I got a new thing. You want a new object. You can create and use this object in sandbox play or in any wordy game. Cool, so I guess if I didn't have that unlocked before, it just wouldn't have shown up. Like we got a Makua Whittle? I guess this is some kind of weapon. Cost 20, I'll go ahead and buy that. We have a Mayan Pyramid. I wonder what that other word is then. Mayan Warrior, cool. We also got a Mayan Headdress, and then an Emperor Tamarin. Oh, that's like a little monkey kind of animal, I like that. And then we only have enough for one more, we'll get the spike trap, which I'd like to spend, yep, I would love to. And then there's other things here, so if we could find a way to get 20 more on that, we'd be able to get all the Mayan ruins objects. How do I do that then? I mean, maybe by playing other games. We're not quite done for today's episode. That is what we're doing each episode, is tackling a sandbox level. But I figure since this is the first episode of the series, we can go ahead and try some other things as well. There is a versus mode. Um, select a type of game, wordy, speedy, both, or free play. Choose any game you wanna play. Uh, we'll do free play, just so that we can see what it's like, and we'll just go against an easy CPU. If you guys really like this, I could try to get some other people on, and we could play together and that kind of stuff. I don't think it has online play, but as you can see, we've unlocked a number of different characters, like Lily. Justice, Carmen, Kara, Luna, Zed. We'll go over all these once we unlock all of them, I'm sure. But for now, we'll just keep playing as Maxwell for today, and then maybe next episode we'll play as Lily. I like that. All right, Maxwell. So it looks like there's a number of different mini games, just like Mario Party. We could try a couple of these as well. Uh, I don't know where we started from, so I'm a little confused. Uh, there's a lot of them, though. Let's try, which one's gonna look easy? Tree removal, find your inner lumberjack and chop down the great pine tree. How to win, drop the tree before your opponent. Hmm, so is there, like, I wonder what makes this scribble knots. Will I be able to spawn in my own ax? Like, maybe she'll spawn in an ax? I'll spawn in a chainsaw, grip, grip change. Hold the Joy-Con with a solo remote grip. So like, oh, was I doing that right? Swipe down with both hands. I don't have hands, hold on, I have hooves. Find your inner lumberjack and chop down the great pine tree. Oh, so this is just sort of like a normal mini game. Oh gosh, I'm already hitting my table, this is not good. <laughs> So yeah, this is actually just, uh, I guess something like Mario Party 8 for the Wii, where it's motion controls. I think I'm winning. You know, you don't need hands for this, I have hooves. Just make sure you use a strap. If you play games like these, you don't want your Joy-Con flying all over the place. They're expensive, I win! Okay, I don't know how many of those I'll do. Maybe I'll like do an episode where we play all of the versus mini games. Uh, you into Star Rides. Star Rides are used to unlock outfits, hats, sandbox levels, and unique objects. Spend your Star Rides when modifying your scribble knot or visiting the sand sandbox store. So we earn up stars just by playing, which is really cool. Uh, let's go back to the menu then. And, uh, yep, we're back to these controls. So yeah, maybe next episode we'll do like all mini games or something, or maybe soon. There's also Showdown. Let's check out what Showdown is. One versus CPU. I'm all by myself today. 
start to line up the game. We'll do short, just, I might not even do a full showdown. I just really wanna see what it is. It looks like everybody's at a board. So yeah, it actually is like a Mario Party board game. Showdown, showdown is a card game amongst friends. Okay, start each turn by drawing a card. And then what else? Uh, it goes a little slow. Cycle through cards by moving the stick left or right. Okay, interesting. Press that button to play cards and launch games. There's no like specific button for it. The one who earns the reward from the card played, you can play a boost card to gain an advantage over your opponent. Yeah, this is really Mario Party-like. Sort of like Mario Party Monopoly. Uh, you can play instant reward cards to receive rewards immediately. Oh, I like this, this looks like a lot of fun. So like, we'll try a little bit, maybe a couple, it's a short game, so let's see. If, we, if it takes any more than 15 minutes, we'll, we'll go ahead. It's 1v1, dealing starting cards. Hmm. Dealing starting cards. Hmm. Okay. I didn't get to read many of those. Maxwell, your turn. Uh, Maxwell draws one card, swap objects. All right, so we have wordy, balancing act, steal. Swap objects, drone drop. Minus, okay, so maybe what happens is I challenge them to a mini game, and when that happens, I um, I can, like if I win, I guess it would send them back, or maybe it'll send me back. Wordy, meal munch, let's try this one. Let's, uh, let us uh, just try to draw more cards. So I guess it's just moving one space at a time, you can't actually sort of hit. Move the stick up and down to eat. Okay. Let's try that out. So, whoop. Choose a category. Oh boy, salty foods. Okay, oh, I would have been, I would have been fine if it was vegetarian. Uh, move the stick in any direction to choose a set of letters. Yep, we're pretty familiar with that. How to enter words? Um, enter word from the category. Okay, so salty foods. I would say um, French fries. So French, and then when you need a space, and then. French fries. There we go, good choice. Um, ready, three, two, one. Uh, I gotta go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Ooh, I'm eating this quick. I would rather eat a bunch of french fries than a salt like I gotta be honest. Oh gosh, I got sick. Oh, that's not my meter for doing it, that's my meter for eating too much. So I have to be careful about that because if I eat too much, I'm gonna get sick apparently. Am I supposed to get sick? I am so confused. Maybe I didn't read that correctly. Well, I'm, I'm getting sick all over the place, but I am I eating it faster than he is? I have no clue. Uh, like when he gets really close to being sick, what does he do? I don't know, he just waits. Oh, is there, oh, I'm not pressing the right buttons, that's why. Okay, here, quickly eat, quickly eat. There we go, I think I'm gonna win, I think I'm gonna win, I think I'm gonna win now that I actually know how to play. <laughs> oh, I'm total dingus, there we go, okay. Oh, yay, I won! He got sick. All right, Maxwell wins. I earned five star rides for that. That is great, because these stars are gonna be helpful for buying that last piece of the Mayan stuff, which will be good. Maybe that's where our last reward is. Maxwell draws two cards. He gets Super Sprint, and then it's the CPU's turn. Equalizer, all players move, huh? Okay, whoa. He wants to do a minigame, and I guess the winner moves three spaces. Okay, so that's how we move is by winning minigames. Tilt to control the direction, oh my, this might be difficult for me. Um, oh, I wasn't done, okay, so there was more to that. I probably should have kept watching. <laughs> we'll learn all the minigames in depth in the upcoming episodes for sure. Starting letter is going to be G, so I gotta enter a word that starts with G. Well, I don't have G as an option, so I guess I would have to continue from G, okay. Um, let's do, uh, great, let's just do the word great. Great, greeting card? No, I always said a greet. Okay, let's do greeting card, because I don't want to erase it. Greeting card, deliver more uh, something to win. I really gotta read more of these. I'm just so excited to get started. So I need to deliver this greeting card, apparently. Oh boy, this is really weird. Oh, this is really weird. Uh, So I gotta deliver greeting cards. Did that work? No, I uh, lowered myself a little too quickly. Uh, this is not good. Also, uh, maybe it's because he already delivered from that, to that page. Yes, it is, to that panel. I don't know what I'm talking about. Whoa, that was weird, like I couldn't turn there. Yeah, let's just lower ourselves down for now. Hey, what are you doing over there? No, don't be winning. <laughs> I don't like it when you win. Okay, so there's clearly something over here. 
Oh, okay, so I'm trying to like tilt it. I have to like totally move it. Okay, so I wasn't moving the Joy-Con correctly. Ooh, times two, this'll be helpful. There we go. Okay, so go back over here. Quickly, quickly. And then, oh, I can see the little spots on the mini map down. Okay, so there's one over here. Oh gosh, this is so weird. This is so hard to control. <laughs> I can't go any farther than this way. Wait, what? It won't let me. Okay, there it goes. Maybe I was just doing it wrong. Oh no! <laughs> I'm really bad at this. I'm only like half of his points down. Like I have 200, he has 400. Oh, there's a times two. Oh gosh, it's gonna be tough. Oh, it's gonna be tough. Come on, come on, no! Oh gosh, darn, and now he has 450. Hmm, lower quick. It's hard because you can't really change your position all that much when you're lowering. What, what, what happened? Oh, did he win? Dang, so I didn't get that one. That's okay, it happens, it happens. We can't win every game. It gets five star rights and then, um, or no, I got, okay. And he moves a couple spaces, so I'm being left in the dust. What can I get here then? Hmm. Deal yourself a new hand. That's our instant reward. We can only do one card per turn. I mean, I could send him back a couple times because I don't really have anything that'll move me ahead, but ooh, swap objects. So we could swap our places. That sounds like it could be really crazy. Like if somebody's about to win, they could swap if they're not good enough at mini games. Um, move the stick left or right to control. Press that to thrust. Click space rubble and drop it in the black hole. Okay. Oh. So why why do we have a starting letter for this one? L. I like it how it's you know making us use words though. Create a heavier objects to fill the black hole quicker. So we gotta just sort of assume what they're doing. Um, I would say, they did laundromat. Ooh, what is gonna be heavier than a laundromat? Um, I don't know. A large laundromat? I don't know if that actually counts because that'd be an adjective. Um, oh, what is something that's super huge that starts with an L? Uh, ooh, I can't think of it right now. A large body of water. No, wait, that's not a large body of water, that was a shark. Whoa, 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 wait, it was swapped. That is what swapped, oh, wow. Okay, so now I have the laundromat, so I should have chose something super small. Oh, wow, that would have been great. Okay, so now that I've gotten some of these laundromats, I drive to the black hole and drop them off. Oh, that is so bizarre. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. Can I pick up his sharks? I can break his sharks. Well, he's gonna have to do a whole lot more than I will have to do. That is not a large body of water. That is a large body that can be found within water. That is just so weird. <laughs> of course, there are thousands of words to choose from, so I'm sure I could have made a better choice, but regardless, if I knew that it was gonna swap it with us, I would have chosen something really small for him. Like, um, I don't know, what is something that's really small that starts with an L? Uh, a ladybug, ah, that would have been perfect. Okay, let me go back to the, oh my gosh, I have so many laundromats. Where is the black hole? Um, There it is, there it is. Ooh, look at that, I think I won. He almost won though, I have to be careful there. Look at that, I cashed them all in, and I get the victory. So we get a couple more starts there, if I can get up to 20, that is all I want for today. Um, So we'd move up a couple spaces. Oh, we do swap still, cool. How many spaces would we have to go to win this? Uh, win two out of three, ooh, so we do have to do three rounds? Win two out of three speedy games to, oh man, I can never read it in time. I need to learn how to read quicker. Grip change, okay, I'm ready. Oh, it's this one, okay, we know all about this one. Swipe down with both hands to chop. I don't have those, but I can still win funny and I don't job. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys that I just woke up? I don't know. Okay, so, there we go. We're going crazy, we're going crazy. We're gonna chop this as much as I possibly can. I mean, I would never chop down a tree in real life unless it was, you know, environmentally important because that tree was about to fall down and knock down other trees. But I would never want to destroy these poor squirrels' habitat. What did the squirrels do to you? <laughs> okay, so I won that one, but we got two more to go if we want to get a couple spaces ahead. I like this, very competitive. Um, Firefly Frenzy, move the stick left and right to move. Okay. Press Z, L, or Z, R to jump. Fill your jar with fireflies by running and jumping around the treehouse. Okay. 
Let's try it. So this one's pretty simple, no motion controls. It's interesting that some of them uh, have motion controls, some of them do not, but I just have to run into them and I get them. So basically I need to out-platform this dude, which should be pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm pretty decent at platformer games. Uh, you know, we're playing Kirby later this month and that's a platformer game. I better be good at platforming if I wanna succeed in that one. Okay, let's try to get you guys or not. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And I've played plenty of Mario games in my day. But yeah, Scribble Knots is a lot of fun, so I'm glad that there is a new Scribble Knots game. It isn't what I was expecting, but so far it's actually enjoyable. Um, cool. So we got a couple things there, and we earned, the, we won the second mini game, so I think that means we won two out of three, so there's no way like, he can come back. Grip change, got it. All right, so I move ahead three spaces, look at me. We still have a far way to go before we're done, so I think that's where we'll finish it off with this. Pretty cool though, we'll definitely do a full round of this at some point in the future, but for now, I just wanted to sort of showcase everything this has to offer before we uh, continue on with the game in the future episodes. I didn't mean to press the settings button. But um, yeah, beyond that, we'll probably be playing through Sandbox mostly through this series, because that's gonna be the most fun for me. Um, and then for my Scribble Knot, the last thing we really have to check out here, I think, we can create our own Scribble Knot, as you can see. Uh, I think we unlock more things as we continue to play, that is definitely the case. We could purchase things more right now if we wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, yep, I wanna discard my changes. And the one is this bottom left one. It's just our award. So which which awards might we, might we be missing? I'm not sure. Hmm. Earn 100 star rights, create a custom scribble knot. Oh, cool. So we get a ton of these. I'll be doing my best to unlock as many of them as I possibly can, because that just sounds like a lot of fun. But uh, for now, let's check to see if I can't buy that last sandbox item, and maybe that'll give me the award for the Mayan sandbox. We'll choose Maxwell again, and we'll start playing other characters in the next episode. So uh, I have enough. Oh, look at all these animals, adorable. Spear Trap, uh, would you like to spend stars to unlock this item? Yes. Oh, nice, award earned Mayan Ruins Collector. So yeah, that was it. As you can see, we have all of the uh, Mayan Ruins completed now, which is awesome. But that also means that the first episode of Scribble on Showdown is also completed. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode on, like I said, Scribble Knots Showdown. If you watched this video, make sure you comment Zebra Scribble so I know you've watched the end that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.